Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to remind you guys hold in there, keep calm, and carry on. Yeah, we're going to be promoting that for a while. Well, guess what I got for you today? Yeah, this is huge. This is big. This is something else. We got the camera kind of cranked up here so we can kind of see this. Uh, I've got a model review here and uh, very, very interesting. Not much to say about this. I, there's not really much out there about this because this is such a, um, I don't know, uh, throw away disposable kids toy thing. You know, it's just kind of crazy. Um, they, they have this and you know, where did it come from? Who knows? All right, so this is a story. Now we're gonna. I've got two of these big boys, and um, they are actually the same. And uh, uh, now I got it turned around here. They're actually the same, I believe. And uh, I got them from the local Walmart. Yes, because these are Kid Connection, and they are a trademark of Walmart stores. Yes, of Bentonville, Arkansas. So. What they did is they uh, got together and uh, somebody out there put this together for Walmart. And it's just a cheapy old play set. And uh, now they, um, this one in the back here has a price on it. And I just so happened, I, I, look, I look everywhere for toys, Land Rover toys, okay? High, low in the, in the kitty toddler section. Uh, you know, not just the Matchbox and uh, Hot Wheels. And lo and behold, look at this bugger here. Yeah, what what the heck? Yeah, that's a discovery right there. Yeah, right there, that's a discovery. Now this one, this one says seven dollars on it. And uh, yeah, so there's two of them. I I believe, as far as I know, this is the only two I got. <laughs> but. Um, I have been able to find some more. And uh, now these are in the, my jammer. And we're going to take a look at this. Going to make sure they're all uh, hanging back there so they don't come flying out. But we're going to open up this jammer. And if you recognize these up here, now these are Motormax ones that I've got in that jammer. All right. And, and we've uh, talked about that. And we can uh, tag that there uh, later on but I have found interestingly enough now this one I know came from one of those and uh, this is all it's got on it made in China yeah crazy this is one that uh, I did pull out from the gift set just but it's a discovery it's a discovery, ladies and gentlemen. There's no question about it. There's no interior. Um, just uh, they're held a bit together by two screws. We'll probably take one of these apart. How's that, huh? Will that suffice your uh, curiosity? Not too bad. It's got some details on the bottom. Uh, you know, dark tinted windows so that you can't, there's no interior and it's so light. Uh, spare tire on there. You know, it's got the rear door like a discovery you know the rear tail the rear bumper lights it's got the alpine windows it's got the uh stadium roof on it i mean if that's not a discovery i don't know what is uh, uh they don't roll too awfully bad so anyway so there you go that's where they came from now in all of my hunting and everything i have found other ones like this black one I did not find this in a gift set I'm not really sure where I found this bugger at but it's the uh, same thing only it's silver yeah now this one's got a little bit nicer detail it does have the headlights are painted silver uh, but everything else pretty much is the same except for the uh, you know, uh, the, the window isn't tinted, it's silver. But uh, yeah, once again, a nice little roller. 
Uh, so this, uh, you know, these come out in uh, Walmart, you know, so uh, kids were buying them up, and then they would play with them, and then they would uh, get rid of them. So I would buy them up. Here, this one I paid 40 cents for. I know where this one came from. I remember that. I know that sticker. Yeah, this one came from uh, Baraboo at uh, St. Vinny's. Yeah, St. Vinny's. It's uh, like Goodwill, but... Uh, uh, more of a religious background, uh, putting people to work and uh, people donating and giving. Now this one's missing its rear uh, spare tire, but uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now here's another one. Oh, see, now I knew those were going to be hopping out of there. Here's another one. Same thing. I mean, this we go back to this. I, do you believe me? It's the same thing. <laughs> We're just going to keep right on moving along. If you don't believe these are the same thing, I can't help you. This is the same thing, dark black windows. Wheels are the same if we can get into focus. State Trooper. Are you kidding me? Whoa, look at the front of that. That's got headlights and the bumper. Uh, same basic bottom, made in China. Two uh, screws. Two screws. Uh, nice little black uh but state trooper this one's got a little uh wheel problem there that one doesn't i don't think that really rolls all that well that front wheel kind of skips there all right so we got a state trooper here's another one here's a dark one yeah this is another one from saint Vinny's. yeah you recognize that sticker right yep maiden so i don't know if the uh walmart had uh different years they would do that now these are not available in walmart anymore those uh kid connection they cut that all out i remember i think i bought one of those for like five dollars because they were blowing them out uh here's another one 40 cents for this one but it's a blue one yeah nice blue and that silver line is a decal but the police with the star is a sticker just a regular envelope sticker no no um details on the front got that same rear thing now look at this one i got two of these these are interesting these are the same i and i think i got these at the same saint vinnie's now look at this they got a little bit more uh detail on the back got uh painted on the rear bumper it's got some yellow <laughs> rear tail lights i don't know why it's yellow but uh blue and white and it looks like that uh it's a white casting and then they painted the blue in there and even stenciled on the police and now this one's got um white on or uh, silver on the front bumpers and then the headlights are yellow but just really really kind of cool I, I, I you know disco i like you said before I've owned discos before I had first generation that was be like this so I really like the discos I, I like the discovery uh, that the uh, matchbox does so just really kind of cool I really like this um, let's see yeah we're gonna take time we're gonna take time I've got a screwdriver right here we're gonna take one of these buggers apart now I didn't show you this one them suckers are sliding out of there this one here I did already take uh, a part and I put some matchbox wheels on it yeah that doesn't look so bad anymore you know if you put paint on that and uh, whatnot you would probably think that could be a matchbox but the wheels are just a tad too big so they they don't roll all that well let's see I gotta let's get this off here oh come on here uh, I don't think that's gonna work but let's let's give it a try huh all right if you're uh, squeamish, look away. This is the time to look away right here. All right, that's the too small a one. We're going to have to flip that around. This is, this is the way we do it here. Oh, ah. I got to use my, I got to use my teeth on that one. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Let's take this sucker apart and see what we got inside, all right? All right. So, yeah, I, I've got to find a pair of wheels that actually uh, work on here. Um, I'm not really sure. I, you know, I've got a, I've got a micrometer. I should, I, I should uh, just measure them out 
and uh, find out which one would be a good one on there, right? All right, so we got that. So you ready? Here it goes. Just kind of too, uh, it's kind of a tight fit. All right, so there it is. The wheels are kind of clamped in there. They do kind of have, uh, like Matchbox, they're not just sitting in there. They do kind of clamp on there. So I got those uh, Matchbox wheels in there nice. Yeah, I just went with the black ones because, you know, they're kind of cool, you know. But, uh, yeah, and, and it rolls nice without the body on it. So somewhere along the line, uh, the body in that is a little bit. Uh, and then here's the uh, interior window. It's got the two sunroofs and the side windows. It is not opaque at all. You can't see anything. That is just a black piece of plastic. And uh, then that just sits right on there like that. Uh-huh. And then now uh, see, here's the uh, base. And now that back piece just slides. It just slides on there just like that. It's uh, just a little peg. I bet you they got in trouble with uh, the, uh, well, I don't know who it is, the toy safety people. Because right there, that just comes right. And that, that comes off even before you take the base off. That has nothing to do with with uh, the base and being secured. But uh, there is no markings or anything like that in there uh, to kind of tell you, uh, you know, who who makes this casting or anything like that. So uh, I'm sure it's somewhere in China they <coughs> are making it for them. And uh, so that piece just slides right back in there. Very nice, very accurate, very... You know, it does have nice details to it. I mean, you can see the body lines there, door handles. Um, I, I, you know, I am going to, I'd like to cut that sun, that, that rear, um, <clears throat> cut that rear window out. I mean, it does have the post there still, but, uh, you know, it would be nice to have all the windows open and uh, I could put windows in there. I could put a clear set of windows. So there it is, three pieces. And we'll just try putting that back together right here on the camera. There you go. Let's see if we get the screws in here, all right? Yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. Have you seen these before? Folks, I got to ask you, have you ever gone over to any other section than the Hot Wheels and Matchbox section and looked for Land Rovers? I have found two or three different times uh, different things. Uh, I know Walmart there for a while. Um, and we haven't even talked about my remote controls that I've gotten from uh, the Walmart. Uh, I've talked about some, but uh, yeah, they uh, have, they used to. Uh, it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, New Ray used to do a lot of stuff. If you check out my New Ray playlist, and hopefully I'll remember to tag that at the end there, other brands, and just cool, just really cool. So there you go. Do you have any of these? This is a Discovery Land Rover. No brand, no brand. Once again, very hard to find. Very, you know, uh, I paid I paid seven dollars at the most for those gift set. I probably paid, you know, a couple of bucks for each one of these, you know, uh, because they're just now some of these I did buy on eBay. I think this one I bought on eBay. Um, but the other one, I think one of these I bought on eBay too, and a red one, but uh, not very much money because, you know, they're, you know, I've got examples of them. Uh, I probably would pay more for the different colored ones, but not a red one. But uh, there you go. What do you got in your collection for these? Do you know who makes them? Do you, can you leave me a post below on uh, if you have uh, ideas on who makes this? Uh, who made this for Walmart? Uh, the kid connections, um, and uh, do you have them overseas? Do you, do you across the pond, or is this just an American thing? I don't know. I like it. It's cute. They're really neat. All right, come join me on Facebook. Show me your uh, collection of uh, cheapies that you find. I really get off on this plastic stuff. I mean, this is going to be. These are going to be. Uh, you know, hard to find in a couple of years because they're going to all be destroyed. They're all going to be thrown away. So I, I really like this kind of stuff. 
All right, Facebook, Roverland, Instagram, Roverland channel. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment down below. Hope you guys are being safe. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.